soulful melodies, captivating harmonies, and timeless lyrics, the Spinners have not only influenced the music industry, but have also left an enduring legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. They possess the power to harmonize their way into the hearts of millions, leaving an everlasting impact on the tapestry of popular culture. fifties, inductees Henry Fambra, Billy Henderson, Purvis Jackson, James Edwards, and Bobby Smith were mainstays in the group's original lineup. Landing on their name as the Spinners, the group performed for over six years before being noticed by a record label, signing with Harvey Fuqua's Tri-Fi Records. With Tri-Fi, the Spinners released their first hit song, That's What Girls Are Made For. A few years later, Tri-Fi was bought out by Motown, and the Spinners spent the next decade in relative obscurity. With the help of Aretha Franklin, they were eventually able to break out of that dry spell, leaving Motown and signing with Atlantic Records in 1972. At Atlantic, the Spinners teamed up with legendary producer Tom Bell and added lead tenor Felipe Wynn to the lineup. After a whirlwind of changes, the group released Spinners, which became their first gold album. Spinners yielded five Billboard Top 100 hits, including their first track to sell one million copies, I'll be around. The Spinners emerged during a pivotal era in music, infusing their unique sound with elements of soul, R&B, and pop. Through their artistry, they helped shape the seductive sound of Philly soul, influencing subsequent generations of artists and bands. From chart-topping hits like Rubber Band Man and Could It Be I'm Falling In Love, to signature danceable tunes like All That Glitters Ain't Gold and Just Can't Get You Out of My Mind. The Spinner's musical influence is undeniable and continues to inspire musicians today. Can't get no rest. The Spinner's hold a special place in the hearts of listeners as cultural icons. Songs like Ghetto Child and Games People Play explore themes of love, resilience, and hope striking a chord with those who sought solace. Their music became a soundtrack to life's triumphs and tribulations, forging a deep connection with audiences and fostering a sense of unity. The Spinners' cultural significance lies in their ability to transcend societal divisions, uniting listeners through the power of song. The legacy of the Spinners extends far beyond the heights of their success. Their songs have stood the test of time, resonating decades after their release. Subsequent Spinners lineups have continued to perform in the 70 years since their formation, carrying on the original group's legacy with founding member Henry Fambra at the helm up until his retirement in 2023. Their music continues to be celebrated by contemporary artists like Steve Lacey, The Weeknd, and Childish Gambino, perpetuating both their impact on popular culture and their relevance to today's music. Through their musical talent and timeless appeal, the Spinners have left an indelible mark on the fabric of popular culture. Their harmonious melodies continue to captivate listeners and their legacy endures through the artists they have influenced and the hearts they have touched. The Spinners have etched their place in music history and their impact will be cherished for generations to come. Yes, so.